So a couple days ago, I changed my crankshaft position sensor because I was getting check engine code P0322. So I got in it today, it did the same thing, it wouldn't start, and then I plugged my code scanner in and we got a new code. So the code we got today was P2177, system 2 lean, off idle, bank 1. And the other code we had there was our regular O2 sensor code. Using the Rostec website, bank 1, system 2 lean, off idle, it could be a few things. Fuel pump, mass airflow sensor, which we've replaced recently. The intake system leaking, the exhaust system leaking. Wrong fuel pressure sensor, which that should be the same, we haven't touched that. Mass airflow disruption. So the possible solutions, check mass airflow sensor. We don't have the ability to check really any of this stuff because I don't have the Rostec cable. I used to have one when I had the R32 and you could plug it into the laptop and you could see the mass airflow and the fuel pressure and stuff like that. So the only thing we could really do is check for vacuum leaks. Which I really need to replace these. I'm just too dumb to figure out which... This is vacuum leaky. I've replaced the key on that one before. That's why I don't have the strut tower brakes in here. Because I need to replace all these vacuum ones and I just haven't done it yet. Alright, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but this is a vacuum leak. You can hear me when my finger touches that. So let me explain what's going on here. All of these hoses are plastic and they mount to the body, which doesn't move. So then they go over here to the engine and mount. So these little parts right here that are crinkly like a straw, those are probably supposed to move and flex a little bit when the engine moves. But when they're 20 years old, they're just brittle and broken. So today I got hosed to fix all these vacuum lines, or those two at least with the aluminum shielding. And this PCV breather hose, we're going to replace that. We got some one inch line we're going to try. And I think the problem is that I have three or four different issues going on at once. So I've always had vacuum leaks, and then we got the crankshaft position sensor code. And then once I fixed the crankshaft position sensor, I was still having issues because I've always had vacuum leaks. And there's a possibility I need a fuel filter, so... So I've ruled out all the other things like the mass airflow sensor and the fuel pump and the spark plugs. Just because I think you would be getting other codes when the mass airflow sensor went bad that threw a different code. If your spark plugs or ignition coils are misfiring, you're going to get a misfire code, not just a lean off idle code. And if the fuel pump are bad, you probably get more codes than just lean off idle bank one. So lean off idle bank one, I think it's a vacuum leak or a fuel filter. That's what I'm going to go ahead and put on the car. 